Yamaha XT660X for sale on eBay. And the paperwork comes with its usual vinyl wallet. It has some spare brake pads in there with it. Um, I don't know whether they're front or back or whether they're the same, I haven't checked. It has its V5 registration document here somewhere. Three former keepers. HPI check certificate that just shows the bike is all completely clear. There's nothing in the bike's history to be concerned about. I've got the MOT history request from DVLA that just gives a count up of the mileages and when it's been MOT'd and that kind of thing. There's um, some old MOTs there. What else have we got? Um, there's a bit of Rotax still with the bike. There's the service book with only the first one that's been stamped in there, which is um, 2005. Owner's manual. The bike has been fitted with a restrictor kit in February 2013. I don't know if that's still on the bike. If I was guessing, I'd say it probably is not, because the bike seems to perform very well. I would think it wouldn't go as well as it does if that kit was still fitted. There's also a collection of odd paperwork there. Um, odd service bills and that kind of thing there. Nothing of any great interest in there. Looking around the bike, a few little things to point out. Um, at some point the last owner has worn down the rear brake pads to the point where it scored the disc. So you need to do something about that. Um, at a very minimum you want to re replace the pads in there. Um, you might want to change the disc as well. Because it's a bit scratched. I noticed the exhaust on the bike. Although it's a nice sports exhaust. This fitting down here isn't as good as it should be. It's got a Jubilee clip on there and it's kind of loose. Um, the original exhaust pipes go with the bike there, the original's there. There's only minor odd sort of marking where they've been sort of stored badly, it's that. These are sort of the clamps that you should have on those exhaust pipes and they should have these gaskets in them. I don't know if they're in there. I would think you might be able to take those gaskets out and put them in the other thing and maybe use these clamps because they're a better kind. No, these clamps are welded on. You use some kind of better clamps than what's on there anyway. So there's that. Um, at one point I noticed this left fork so looked a bit... Um, damp, but I did the usual thing of pushing the bike up and down a few times, wiping it and doing that about three times, and it didn't look like it was too bad after that. The, but there is a possibility that might be a little bit on the weak side. But I would think the mileage on the bike could well be right, and at 15,000 miles I would doubt whether that seal is worn out. It's more likely to have gone hard through lack of use, and so using it will soften it up. Um, but there's just a chance you might have to deal with that. Uh, the chain guard is missing, presumed snapped. I don't have the chain guard with it, by the way. Now, I also noticed that the front brake felt a little bit uneven when I was riding the bike. I don't think it's anything severe, but when I looked at the pads, it looked like they were pretty well worn. So if you change the front pads um, and see how it feels then, you most probably find that would improve to the point whereby you could let that go. I also noticed when I was riding the bike, the fuel light is flashing on, even though there's fuel in the tank. So there's something there, perhaps with the sensor that wants looking at. That's about it. Um, if you've got any other questions, just ask and I'll tell you what I know.